Today we're going to look at our week two math assignment. This assignment is going to be focused on perimeter, area, and finding the missing side when dealing with perimeter. Our first question today says, John built a doghouse for his new puppy that is shaped like a square. What is the perimeter of the doghouse? John built a doghouse for his new puppy that is shaped like a square. So I first want to think about that. One of the things we have to remember with the square is that all sides are going to be equal. So I went ahead and labeled each of the sides of my square as being 36 inches. Our question says, what is the perimeter of the doghouse? We have a reminder here that says in perimeter, we want to add up all the sides of our figure. Now, sometimes adding up four numbers, especially if they're two digit numbers, can be difficult. So we want to chunk these numbers. I'm gonna start by adding 36 plus 36. I'm gonna begin by adding up my ones place first. Six plus six is 12. Well, I know that cannot fit in my ones place, so I'm gonna place my two that's in my ones place, and I'm gonna regroup my one over to my tens place. Next, I'm gonna add up my tens column. One plus three is four, plus three more would give me seven. Now I am not finished with this problem. I'm going to need 72 again, so I'm going to circle it. Next, I'm going to chunk my two remaining sides, and I'm gonna add them together as well. 36 plus 36. We're gonna start by adding up our ones place. Six plus six is 12. We're gonna place our two in our ones column and regroup our one over to our tens column. Next, we're gonna add up our tens column. One plus three is four, plus three more is seven. Now that we've chunked our numbers together, we have to place those two numbers together and combine them to get the total perimeter of our square. So we're gonna add 72 plus 72. We're gonna begin by adding up our ones column. Two plus two equals four. We do not have to regroup. Next, we're gonna add up our tens column. Seven plus seven equals 14. Now this is gonna give me my perimeter of the entire square. So if we look at our first answer choice, A says 36. That is only one side of our square, so that would not be the correct answer. Answer choice B says 144, which is the answer we came up with. So I'm gonna put a question mark as a maybe. And answer choice C says 72. Well, we found that 72 was only two of our sides, so that would not be the correct answer. So our correct answer choice is going to be answer choice B. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and look at question number two. Question number two says, compare the area and perimeter of the two rectangles above. Which statement is true? It says compare the area. Up here we have a reminder letting us know that area is equal to length 
times width. It says compare the area and perimeter of the two rectangles above. Which statement below is true? So for each of these rectangles, we're gonna need to be finding both the area and the perimeter. So let's start by looking at shape A. We're gonna find the area first. We're gonna multiply to find the area. We're gonna multiply one times seven. And we all know that one times seven equals seven. So we know that the area for shape A is going to be seven or seven square feet. Next, let's find our perimeter. In the earlier problem, we know that perimeter, we are adding up all the sides of the figure. Well, in this model, it only gives us two sides, but I know with a rectangle, opposite sides are equal. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that knowledge to help me label the missing sides. Right here, this side is not given, but if I look at the opposite side, if it is seven on the opposite side, it's gonna be seven on this side as well. And again, using my knowledge of rectangles, I know that if this side is one foot, the opposite side is gonna be one foot as well. We're going to be adding up all four sides. So I'm gonna add seven plus seven plus one plus one. And that's gonna give us the total perimeter of shape A. Seven plus seven is 14, plus one more would give me 15, plus one more would give me 16. So we know that the perimeter of our figure is going to be 16 feet. Now we want to look at the same thing for shape B. We're gonna begin by looking at our area. Again, area is length times width. So I know that my length is two and my width is going to be six. Two times six equals 12. So that 12 is going to be our area. Next, we're gonna look at perimeter. Again, two of our sides are given, but two are not. So we're gonna to have to use our knowledge of rectangles to help us determine this. So if this side is six, knowing that this is a rectangle, the opposite side is also going to be six. If the left side of my rectangle is two, then the opposite side is also going to be two. With perimeter, we're gonna be adding up all sides of our figure, and we're gonna add those sides together. We're gonna start by adding six, plus six, plus two, plus two. Six plus six gives us 12, plus two is 14, plus two more is 16. So our perimeter of shape B is going to be 16. Well, I'm already noticing that the perimeter of A and the perimeter of B are equal. So let's go back and look at our question and answer choices. It says compare the area and perimeter of the two rectangles above. Which statement is true? A says shape A and shape B have the same perimeter and the same area. Well, they do not 
have the same area, but they do have the same perimeter. So even though part of it is correct, since part of it is incorrect, we're gonna mark out answer choice A. Answer choice B says the area is the same for both shapes. Well, we obviously know the area is not the same for both shapes, so that's going to be incorrect. C says the perimeter for both shapes is equal. Well, we know that our perimeter for both shapes is the same, so that part is correct. However, shape B is has a greater area. So if we look at B, B's area was 12 and A's was only seven, so that is correct. B's area was greater than A's area. So both parts of that answer choice is correct. 